My name is Sean Amy, I'm a dancer and choreographer from London. Uh, why do you do it? I enjoy teaching people, I enjoy developing the scene in the UK and I love dance. I've been doing it for 20 years, so it's kind of brought me to this place. What's your background? I started with theatre, so I've done drama, singing and dance. Um, I left the other two and continued with dance. Uh, what role does a, does a dance teacher have in society? Education, uh, mentorship, coaching, uh, providing tools for the next generation. Uh, describe your personality in three words. <laughs> uh, quiet, um, kind of abstract. One more mm, fun. How has your teaching practice changed over time? Um, so one key moment for me when my teaching practice completely changed was uh, when I studied to become an English teacher. So they during that that time um, I was taught how to teach. So uh, while I was teaching English, a lot of the the skills that I learnt were like transferable to teaching dance. So um, things like how you communicate with your students or how you draw more information out of your students and these type of skills. What do you enjoy doing most? I can't, I can't, yeah, I can't, I can't make a decision. Teaching and performing, I prefer more than judging. Why is that? Uh, I just relate to it more. I love being on stage, I love performing, I love teaching um, and seeing students like that moment when students understand something and you see it like click and then like, you see the doors open and you start to see growth and development. That's, that's like really a great moment. Um, judging is fine, but yeah, that's, it's just work at the end of the day. Uh, battling or teaching? Uh, battling. Teaching or making? As you create? <sighs> Creating. Uh, what's your strongest memory from childhood? Uh, crashing on my bike and scraping my arm and crumbling a wall. I had a proper moment. Sounds eventful. Yeah, <laughs> I'll never forget that. Uh, what's been your scariest teaching experience? Um, I think when I taught on the Mayor R program for Dylan, uh, that was quite nerve wracking. It was different. It was like, it was everything that I'd already done, but the size of the venue, being on a massive stage, it was, just a, it was just a bit weird. What's your favourite TV show? Money Heist. Uh, describe a real life situation that inspired you. Um, getting cussed by Walid. Walid is uh, one of my popping teachers. Um, he basically told me that I can't pop. He told me that what you've been doing is... Beep! You know? <laughs> um, but that, that moment, it kind of broke me and then it, it rebuilt me and then my dance took a it took a shift and then I really started to progress like after that moment. Uh, what's your most embarrassing teaching? I don't have one. What jobs have you done outside of teaching? Um, commercials, adverts, I don't know why I said commercials, adverts, music videos, choreographing, festivals, Formula One is quite a big answer. Uh, and commercial jobs. Is teaching easy? Now, yeah. Um, but not always. What memorable responses have you had to your class? I think like one of the best responses I can have is seeing the student I've taught like just making their own stuff or, or killing someone in the battle or just really like doing a show and just killing it. So th those are kind of like responses too, I guess. Uh, what's your favorite food? Now, I'm vegan, so I don't know. <laughs> um, is your artistic lifestyle lonely? What do you do to counteract that? It's quite up and down. 
So during busy moments, there's a lot of work and you might be around your team or around the people that you're working with. Um, when the work is kind of not present, then maybe you might be a bit more alone. Uh, but then you still got the opportunity to meet up and train with friends or just session, even if there's not any work in particular happening. I like to session outside of work, so yeah. Uh, what do you dislike about teaching the UK dance scene? A lot of students have been taught wrong information, which is sometimes annoying to, for them to come into my class and then sometimes come with an approach that they already know what I'm about to teach them. So uh, in a way they don't listen properly because they might already feel like I already know what, what you're going to do. What do you like about teaching? There's loads of people interested in learning uh, particular styles now and street dance styles in, to be specific. Uh, that wasn't the case maybe 10 years ago. It was really uh, choreo driven, but I would say since maybe 2013, 14, there's been a lot of interest and people have kind of started to understand that being able to be not like versatile but also to have a specialist style or skill is really like is key so people are a lot more open to to what they're learning now as i think before they wasn't so open to it in general what's been your favorite moment it could be oh, out uh, winning juice de Boo uk i've got one more and winning the world hip-hop championships with my crew play what makes you angry People who don't listen. Well, who's your favourite football club? United. Mixed martial arts or football? I like both, but football slightly. What superpower would you like to have? Location. Instant translocation. I can be here, I can be in Japan, I can be in Jamaica in three seconds. And why is that? Because I want to be everywhere and there's too many places to be at. And there's so many other places that I need to go other than London. Uh, name something you love and why. I guess music. Um, why? Because it's the driving force behind the dance. Uh, name something that you don't love and why. I guess uh, argumentative people. Yeah. Definitely. Um, what would be your dream teaching project? Uh, ones that are provided by just us dance. Um, name three teachers you'd like to be compared to. Yeah, definitely Walid, who is one of my teachers. Um, who else that I would like to be compared to? I would say Poppin' Pete and Junior Boogaloo. Can't compare me to them right now, by the way, but give me another 15 years. Not long enough. Yeah. Uh, who was your first teacher? Sam, a lady called Sam. Uh, Favourite or most inspirational place? LA. Favourite dance studio? Huskies. Uh, pop the old Huskies. Popping or hip hop? Pop hop. What is your pet peeve in teaching? People who don't practice. People who. Oh, I've got two. People who say, I can't wait to come class. Or I'm coming class soon. No, you ain't. You will just come. You don't need to tell me that. And people who don't practice. What's the best piece of advice you've been given about teaching? When you teach your students, um, check whether they've understood what you have taught them and without asking them a yes or no question. So uh, maybe uh, I've taught you a Romeo twist. Tell me something about a Romeo twist. That's how I would check whether you've understood what I've explained to you or not. Instead of just asking you, do you get it? Professionally, what is your goal? Uh, I want to open a school one day, a dance school. What can you do without? I'm trying not to say the obvious, which is music and yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if that's what comes to you, that's what comes to you. Okay, dance. <laughs> well, who supports you as a teacher? My crew. I feel quite supported by the UK scene as well, actually. Um, I'm able to live comfortably from teaching. Yeah. Um, what does the next 10 years look like? 
continuing to improve and develop the UK scene, uh, spreading more information. I also want some time to be able to go and invest in myself a little bit more. Uh, Darts or dessert? Dessert. So you speak another language? No. I speak... No. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have a mentor? No. What does an average morning look like for you? Lay in bed. Um, think about getting food. Uh, eventually get food. Uh, shower, check where I need to be, rush, and then get there like just in time. Uh, car or motorbike? Bike. bike. Uh, what's your favourite age to teach? Mid to late teenagers. What's your all time favourite popping food? <laughs> um, I would probably say Twist or Flex. And finally, what is your teaching legacy? Spread information. Yeah, so I'm going to use the word legacy again. I want to leave a legacy of, uh, of students that, that have learned from me, uh, information, developing the UK scene, spreading knowledge, and hopefully like, we can be the strongest country in the UK, in, the, in Europe. <laughs>